Hey guys, welcome back to another raid cam. Hope you guys are still enjoying the raid cams. We're gonna get through this entire season. Then, I don't know, I might start recording something else. I might actually start playing some other games. You know what I haven't played in a while? I haven't played Conan Exiles. I don't know why, but I'm kind of feeling like it and seeing what it's up to, if it even has pop. Let me know down below, and I'll see you in the video. So these guys here have to be the worst at doing Broodmother. Over here, hover, he's following as well. He's dead. It was so funny. I was just laughing the whole time, just enjoying the fact that I know I've kind of been in this situation before myself. <laughs> if only one guy's shooting it, that means it must be about to pass out, right? It's getting that close. I don't want to like actually hit it when it passes out. This guy still haven't got tech. And paratroopers. So these guys are landing over here because I'm pretty sure they're about to go do boss fight. Are they going to do a boss fight here? I think they're doing a boss fight here. They might be doing a center boss fight. That's why they're throwing stuff to each other. Yeah, it's almost half dead. Easy. Oh, here we go. I told you. Ambush is inbound. It's about to happen! Won't be long off. Anything happening? Did they all die? It's funny because these guys have the perfect trap here waiting for these guys. They're ready, they've got their bear traps, they've got their gates, they've got turrets. But you know what? I left because those guys never showed up. I think they died in their boss fight. But we're over here, there's like a raid going on. Just a little pillar base raid. It's pretty cool, it's kind of interesting. It's good to see these, how people do it. Obviously golems are insane. If you can get those early game, heavy turret bases, and even Plant X's can't stand a chance. Once you once you seek the heavies, the Plant X's can just be smashed by the golem. Just turn around backwards and then just smack from behind, and you're all good. This guy's gotten to the generator, so that's all off now, and uh, yeah, this base is done for. You get whatever loot they can, and they'll move on. This guy was so cheeky, man. He was blowing up his base, and uh, he had a look. He threw a turtle out and then went to go do it, but then kind of gave up and left. I don't know what he was doing. Maybe it was doing too much damage to his turtle because it is ORP. And now the group are actually doing boss fight on center. And, like, everyone says it, but... Dude, dude if you're going to do Brute Mother, you're going to do it on center. Look how easy they're destroying it. The island one's way too strong. Look at the difference. This is alpha. That's insane. I'm guessing it is because they're red, right? And now we have the oil cave. They're coming along real nice. It's looking really good. I used to, I have a soft heart, like soft part of my heart for oil cave, as you guys will know, and you'll probably see soon because I'm doing a super cut of it. I'm doing a super cut of my old oil cave series. I want to make it interesting, fun, fast paced. It's gonna be like an hour and a half, two hours long. It's just gonna be the entire series with all the fun, epic stuff that happened. There's a lot happened. The guys, these guys are over here doing the boss fight on Valgero. And something funny actually happens. The guy gets triggered because they had prim stuff. Why why do you guys have in prim shotgun day in free? Why the f you guys have prim shotgun day free? So, you know what he did? He bowled him and killed him. Because, you know, it's making it difficult for him to pass the boss fight having prim stuff. And now on Valgero, there's a base that's in the waterfall. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure this is just up from Green Obby. There's a little waterfall cave that there is. These guys have taken out the turret box that's at the front. There was a heavy turret box at the front. They're probably going to move up to this next part, but I stayed here for a while and nothing really happened for a long time, so I left. I went over to Gen 2 and there was a little bit of action actually happening here. These guys were griefing the uh, dome. The dome that I talk about all the time. It's actually been nerfed now, so it's not actually that good of a spot. It's alright, but you can PT spin, you can grapple glitch everything these days. Gummy. So it being like that now, it's kind of a lot weaker, and a lot of people don't really care for it as much. People still build in it, but they get wiped out so easily by a tribe that knows what they're doing. Gummy. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I would ever build in here ever again. It's a little bit too weak, and you can see everything that's in there as well, from above. It's a nice little bit of action going on here. I like getting these nice little angles for you guys, so you can see, kind of like from a different kind of perspective, from both sides of the, of the tribes that are attacking and defending. 
Guy, guy, guy. Come in. Come in. Come in. One of the most toxic things, I don't know if you guys agree, is griffin picking. You can pick so often, so easily. At the same time, if you have a flamethrower, it's insane. Flamethrower griffin picking is just broken. <laughs> this guy gets hammered. Yeah, he's done. GG. So, we're over on Aberration now, and there's a little poly outpost these guys have. And, uh, these guys want to take that poly. So they're going to go for it. They're so keen to take this out. They're <laughs> running the turrets. Once that's down, now they can fight it out. Are they going to get the poly? Let's see. We coming, bro. The guy says thanks to the poly, but he didn't actually get that much poly as you see. It only got like a few, a few thousand, a few hundred, because it doesn't take the entire amount. It just takes it for your weight. So. <laughs> I'm going to oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! So I explained to you here, the guys that you saw in the previous video actually got raided out or left. There's another tribe in here now. They've only put a couple turrets down. But this tribe's come back to grieve him once again, and uh, let's see what happens. There's some funny interactions with the voice in this. Listen out. It's not as it's not as toxic as last time. It's kind of more fun and funny and just like smack talking, and it was kind of interesting to watch. One of the guys actually kind of knows me. Is another YouTuber called uh, Blaze South. He actually says something in chat in a second. Were you the griffin earlier today? So this is actually on Ragnarok, okay, okay. and you know the uh, dark cave in Ragnarok. There's a yeah, there's like a me, uh, dark cave that's super basically. dark. You can hardly yeah, see it. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it should be in the cave. Yeah. Um, this guy was just you know showing the them where another the base is because he just like, got raided. Uh, He's trying to be all cool and not get his base completely wiped. The from the pro side. They have a turret there. They have a turret box there, and then base is like somewhere around there. But they uh, one of them is online, by the way. So I, I cannot, like, I will show you and then I need to leave. Your PT is dead, bro. No, 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 but you can, you can scout from, like, the air. I mean, you have spyglass, right? Like, um, fly up to the ceiling and then spyglass it. But on Valgero, a pillar base is getting raided again. Gas bags and... Along with golems, are just insane for raiding turreted bases that aren't tech. It's so easy to soak it out because as long as you keep the gas in the gas bag, you've got a good side and you got cakes, you can take down a base real quick. And these guys are offline and maybe doing extra damage, but it's only a matter of time before they get in. And he's going to try something here. But it was a massive fail. Didn't go fast enough. Finally, he gets up there. Now he's going to blow in and get the fat loot that he gets from this base. I really like the angles I can get for you guys in this. I can go to these cool angles with all this smoke going around and it looking epic like it's a breach in a base. This little head pops up. 
I just love the angles and get. It can make it so cinematic and beautiful for you guys. I hope you guys really enjoy the different angles of raids. Obviously, other people will upload their videos and their perspectives of it, and it's really cool because if they upload it before I upload mine, sometimes I can take some of their footage and ask them to use it and then actually put their perspective in it as well. Which I'm probably going to do with a couple of videos coming up, to be honest. Um, there's somebody that I've asked if I can use their footage. I think it was um, Stooby Dooby when he did uh, some raids and stuff. And uh, yeah, there's some interesting stuff. In the Barbie world, what you're doing? Your time wasting. Uh, 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 uh. Bro, you PvP? No PvP. Yes, we will PvP. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Come PvP. Give me your combo. Hey, nice man. So obviously a lot of these parts I'm just going to keep there without any uh, commenta commentation or anything like that, commentating, because it's, you know, it's a bit more fun for you guys to just listen to it. Shane, you're a dirty dog. What is this? <laughs> what up, self? Oh. 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 Bro, self, self, are you here? Are you, you self? Self, self, you know how I f you with Febby down, down there. Oh, you're so bad that you killed like four times or something. Four, five, four. First fight, I f you with Febby down there, you know? You remember? I f your ass. Even your mom feels that. I f Yeah, we want to be f in the warm, in the warm place. Do it, then do it, then do it. He's on, he's on, he's on. Rush it. So they're trying to make some plays, they're trying to rush these turrets. There aren't actually that many turrets. The Thylee's doing mad bleed. He's trying to push in as quick as he can. Thylee's blocking him. And uh, I think, yeah, he didn't end up That's making true. it, sadly. He tried yeah. hard. It's a fucking try. That was a really good try, to be honest. Like, if they could run it, but now they've put down bear traps, it's going to be a lot harder for them to do that. They've kind of worked and smartened up. We're heading over to Fjordor, and I've actually lived in this cave. It's a double drop down. Um, these guys are just kind of like pushing in, trying to raid them. That no one's rendered the base for a little while, and you'll find out why they haven't rendered the base in a little while. It's not because they're offline. It's because of something else. So they actually soaked all this outside. They're putting C4 down on all the uh, turrets, trying to take them out so they can't refill them, and they can move into the uh, actual inside of the base. And uh, little did they know, someone was about to show up. I guess who it was. It's actually hilarious, they were doing boss fights. They were doing boss fights just around the corner at B Cave. They roll up and they're like, you know what, these guys are a joke. Let's try and fight them with the Megatheriums. Why are you playing 
rainbow when you cringe. And guess what? Someone had built an easy underwater on island. And you know what? The entire wall and base is raided already. These guys have managed to raid that base already early game. This is only a couple days into the wipe. And someone's raided already. They got some fat profit. I don't know whether they're going to build in here, take it over themselves. But they managed to get in. And that's crazy. But guys, let me know down below what your thoughts are on all the uh, community crunch stuff and the roadmap at the moment. Obviously my first video was it, it was just a quick reaction to all the good stuff that's happening. But there's some bad stuff that we're in it as well. Until next time though, this video is over. This raid game's over. And there'll be more. And we'll push this season out. We'll make a super cut at the end so you guys can focus on all the amazing raids in one video and have some fun. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys are amazing. I'll see you in the next one.